Um, up next, we have our, our other headline keynote for the morning. And uh, this is going to be from, um, from Solid Fire, who is uh, you know, in, the, in the storage industry, doing some, some interesting and innovative things there. So again, to introduce Solid Fire, we've got a Solid Fire video. And now, please welcome Solid Fire CEO Dave Wright. Hi, I'm Dave Wright, founder and CEO of Solid Fire, and it's great to be here today. For Solid Fire, this is our seventh OpenStack summit. Just over three years ago was our first summit in Boston, all 650 of us. And last year in Atlanta, I talked to you about the evolution of the data center and how OpenStack was positioned to become the universal operating system of the next generation data center. A year later now, there are 6,000 of us here this week fully committed to making that happen. As most of you know, SolidFire is a storage company. And I left Rackspace five years ago to start SolidFire because while I saw that cloud computing would be the future of the data center, I believe that great storage would be the cornerstone of every successful cloud deployment, and that the converse would be true as well. Many cloud projects would suffer and fail due to poor storage implementations. But storage, while critically important, is not the only element of a successful cloud infrastructure. And right around the time I started SolidFire, another group of Rackers was meeting in Austin to discuss another key element of the cloud, the cloud operating system we now know as Rackspace. OpenStack, uh, the cloud operating system we know as OpenStack, the, the uh, OpenStack is a powerful combination of developers, vendors, system integrators, and end users delivering something much bigger than any single vendor could on their own. Recognizing its potential, SolidFire made a bet that the combination of OpenStack with high-performance block storage would allow our customers to fully unlock the value of their cloud investments. And behind this bet, we made significant investments in four key areas to accelerate the maturity and adoption of OpenStack. Contributing to and embracing the community was and really still is job number one for us. Block storage was an overlooked and underdeveloped component of OpenStack when we started contributing. And SolidFire was the first storage company to devote full-time resources to OpenStack. And the resulting Cinder project is a great example of what this community can build together. With close to 60 Cinder drivers in the latest release, we're extremely proud of where this project is today. But storage is only one piece of the equation. And a cloud infrastructure is made up of products and services from many different vendors. Therefore, we've invested in a series of partnerships to ensure that we have interoperability with the leading tools, technologies, and services that our customers are pairing with SolidFire in their OpenStack deployments. The partners you see listed on this slide behind me are a direct reflection of this effort. 
the value of an ecosystem's contribution, though, has to go beyond logos on a slide. And instead, it's on us to demonstrate how customers can actually take their cloud infrastructure to the next level when they piece together these best of breed technologies. So first introduced back in Atlanta, Agile infrastructure is SolidFire's validated reference designs that bring together leading technology from across the community to accelerate a customer's journey from concept to self-service cloud. Stay tuned for more to come here in the weeks and months ahead. And of course, the most important element of all is the users. At SolidFire, we've attracted some of the most innovative service providers and leading enterprise OpenStack customers, positioning us as the leading scale-out block storage for production OpenStack clouds. Leveraging the combination of OpenStack and SolidFire, our customers have been able to unlock significant untapped value from their cloud infrastructures. At the same time, customers are pushing us to develop more features and deeper integrations to OpenStack to help them take their cloud to places that others can't. Which brings me back to storage. The press recently quoted one of our customers saying, if you don't get storage right, nothing else works in the cloud. Every day I see companies whose cloud implementations have been hamstrung by complex legacy storage and who are finally ready to drop the boat anchor and move forward. If you don't have scalable, highly available storage delivering consistent performance, then you're severely constrained as to where your cloud can go. Storage needs to enable your cloud, not hold it back. And you need a storage infrastructure that can keep pace with the velocity of your software development, the rate of innovation, and the overall demands of your business. So today, I want to ask a simple question. How is storage limiting your cloud deployment today? Or more importantly, where would you take your OpenStack cloud if storage weren't a limitation? So we're going to conduct a survey, but we're going to do it SolidFire style. So if you're in the first section here closest to the stage, the first 10 rows or so, I want you to reach under your seats. And if you're further back or if you're online, you can go to sfrocketsurvey.com. But for those of you in the front, under your seats is a little rocket. The rocket has a survey attached to it, and we've provided you with a pen. I think you can see where this is going. The survey is rubber banded to the rocket. You can pull the survey off and go ahead and fill it out. The question is pretty straightforward. Where would you take your OpenStack cloud if storage weren't a limitation? Maybe you'd use your OpenStack not just for dev test, but for production workloads like Mercado Libre does. Maybe you'd find a way to differentiate your offerings against your competitors like iWeb. With storage a solved problem, maybe you would innovate higher up the stack at the application layer like FICO. Or broaden your IT as a service offerings with the time and money that you're saving like eBay. Or best of all, maybe you could just get a good night's sleep for once. So go ahead and fill out those surveys. You can select one or more of the options or fill in your own idea under other. We'll be tweeting out our favorites after the keynote, so make sure to write in your name and Twitter handle. All right, so for those of you in the first 10 rows, hopefully you're uh, through filling out the survey. So what you want to do is take, it, take the survey here. You're going to peel the sticker off and stick it to the rocket. All right, don't shoot the rocket just yet. Wait for my uh, command, but I'll demonstrate this here. On my countdown, you're going to get ready, and you're going to shoot these at the stage, like that. All right. Get ready. In a minute, we're going to count down from three. I want you to aim up here at the stage. Aim high. Whatever you do, do not look behind you. All right, just one second here. All right, now we're ready. All right, you guys ready? All right, here we go. Three. Two, one, fire! <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. All right, good job. All right, you can stop now. I'm setting down the shield. All right. All right, your last chance. 
All right, here we go. All right, good job, everyone. The rest of those are souvenirs. Wow, this is awesome. So let's, uh, let's look at a few of these that have write-in votes. <laughs> so I would reenact the fax machine scene from Office Space with my SAN. So I know how you feel, and we'll be sure to send you a baseball bat. All right. Uh, let's find another one. That one didn't have one. All right. All right. It says, I'd put all of our applications in our cloud. So too many times, I think people see the cloud as a place for just development or maybe for new applications because they can't trust it with the performance and availability requirements of tier one applications. Wouldn't it be amazing to deliver not just a good service, but actually a higher level of performance, quality of service, and availability in your cloud than you could in your dedicated infrastructure? All right, we'll do one more. So this one says they would stop thinking about storage and start thinking about data. And given Jonathan's presentation earlier today, I think that's a great idea. Wouldn't that be fantastic to stop worrying about storage and start thinking about data? So those are great responses, and we'll be posting the results of the online server on, uh, survey on Twitter soon and tweeting out some of the best ones from the stage here once we clean it off. I'm sure each of you has a vision for where you would take your cloud if storage were a limitation. In looking to realize this vision, you need to look beyond the traditional tools and technologies that have gotten you where you are today. You're at the OpenStack Design Summit because you're looking for a better way. Fortunately, the better way is in booth H3 all week. And for those of you that didn't get a rocket, we'll be giving away rockets there as well. So we look forward to meeting as many of you as we can and learning about how we can help you take your cloud to places that others can't. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dave.